kids are told they are good enough, does that mean college coaches will know about them? Yeah, yes and no to some degree. Uh, if you are, like we were just talking about, if you're good enough to be a blue chip top tier, you know, top 100 player in the country, um, it doesn't matter where you're playing. It doesn't matter if you're in a, a, a 1A school in the, in the mountains and they're going to find you. If you're a basketball player and you're seven foot five, they're gonna find you. You can't hide anymore. But if you're not one of those top tier blue chip athletes, coaches aren't likely to find you. You know, I coached college basketball for eight years. I wasn't reading local town newspapers to find prospects. Uh, the, the reality is there's about 15 times more high schools than there are colleges. So. The accolades and awards and stats and all conferences and you know things like that, um, every kid that wants to play in college has those. So a lot of people don't understand that you know, when you're a college coach, there's a thousand bubbles all over the place and they're not going to come find you just because you were all conference or just because you scored 10 points last night. Now, they don't know. There's too many kids for them. They can't keep track of everybody out there. So that's one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they think that, well, I'm good enough. People, are, they're just going to start coming to my games. And what I usually tell people is, you know, look at the year ahead of you and the class that just graduated from your high school. What coaches were in the stands at those games? Who came to watch? You know, and, and most of the time, nobody did. And where are those guys going to school? And, and expect about the same thing when it comes your turn unless you do something to make the coaches aware of you. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.